Thank you. Your, your last match against Dreams FC ended in a stalemate. What went through your mind, I mean, like yourself and the rest of the team after the match? Um, thank you for your question, and then my greetings to all Accra Sufu supporters, fans, and all of us of Accra Sufu. Well, I would say it wasn't that easy for us because we were determined to go all out and win that game. Because if we could have, if we had won that game, it would have been simple for us, and we would be very relaxed into our next game. And even as the last whistle blew, we were all asking ourselves, uh, "Is it time yet for for the referee to close the game?" Because we were we were up, we were like we were so much in the game, and we wanted everything out of the game. We wanted all the three points from the game, and we couldn't have it. So we were a little bit down. After the game, we were a little bit down and we were not happy as some are saying. We were not that happy, even though it was an away game. But it was in Accra here, looking like same as a home game. So we took it like a normal game. We are going to go all out and win, but we couldn't win the game. So it wasn't that easy for us. We were not that happy after the game. Good. But picking one point from an away match, yeah, I'm sure you people were more determined than the one point. But I mean, like, it's a significant thing than losing all the points. Would that serve as a source of motivation going into the match against Gold Stars, knowing very well that Gold Stars was a former team? Um, it could have helped a lot, and it is still helping a lot because Gold Stars is a, is a good team. and. As we're talking now, they are on top of the league table, so they are a good side, I would say. But Accra House of Folk, as we all know, is one of the biggest clubs you can, you can think of. And any team in Ghana gets itself more than ready when playing Accra House of Folk. So I know by now, Ghost Stars are also planning more than they can to win this game, but it's a game I will not predict, but victory is always assured. We're going all out into our next game against the BNE Gold Stars. We are going to play our hearts out and inshallah, we shall be well with us. How are you guys preparing for this match? Um, after the preparation, I'll say, I'll say the normal one because no bullets are seen in the gun, but when it is released, there you feel the pain. So I would say we are preparing very well. We are already prepared. And like I've always been saying, ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So it won't be that easy, but we know the only option we have is to push harder and harder until victory comes. Thank you. We all know that with Ghost has been the league leaders. If you're able to pick three maximum points from the match against this league, the league leaders, definitely it will give you more sorts of motivation. What word of motivation would you give to the fans as we prepare for that match? Um, um, thank you once again. And playing against the league leaders assistance now and winning that game will be something like happiness but then we know we know as good as they are we are also a better side looking at looking at our recent games and how we've been playing tactically and with all the strength and energy and vibes and everything the positivity is coming in more and more so i know definitely i am assuring our fans to come in numbers and support us with all their heart. And one thing I love about the fans is um, in that moments of the game, when I hear, uh, when I begin to hear that across of folk song, be quiet and don't be silly. We are the famous house of folk. Then you see something begins to stir in you as a player and you want to give it all out. So I would say they should come in their numbers and Playing the league leaders' assistance now, winning 
is our mentality now. Thank you very much. You're welcome.